voice by number two, Bradley James Rodney, DP the Dead. You have two minutes to report to my number two, otherwise you will be disqualified. DeAndre Corbe, here we go. On top is Gianni Grippo, IBJJF World Nogi Champion, Pan Nogi Champion, number one seed in this lightweight division, taking on DeAndre Corbe of Standard Jiu Jitsu. Right now, you can see we're almost just over four minutes into this match, I should say. And uh, Corbe has been insisting on leg attacks and showing no fear of going up against a technical guard player such as Gianni Grippo, uh, noted leg fighter and Corbe is a risky strategy in going for the uh, going for the legs well that's Kieran Kitchuk sharing his opinions as he uh, and exits the mats yeah I'm surprised to see a split or unanimous decision there in any case the tournament rolls on here and uh, Corbe had a very uh, dominant win over Marcus Phelan from Ireland yesterday to punch his ticket here to this match with Johnny Grippo. 
But Grippo is definitely the favorite, or one of the favorites in this bracket. And the match has been very competitive, as you can see, just, just uh, one decision separating the two. It's unusual to see somebody try and draw Gianni Grippo into this uh, leg fighting game. It's such a risky strategy. And look at this, now you see, you see Grippo trying to pressure forward. Aggressive framing from Corbe on bottom. Can we see Gianni Grippo get this guard pass here? This is definitely driving one of Gianni's through. favorite places to be. Oh yeah, he can go straight to the back from here, right? Good frames though from, from Cobre. Strong frames. But Gianni's known to just hang out in that arena and just sort of grind down his opponents. He has no problem taking two to three minutes to complete a pass. I think it's an interesting strategy to see Corby uh, play from bottom uh, in this position because honestly, I think I would rather be on bottom against somebody like Gianni Grippo than I would be trying to pass his guard. And look at this, he's going in for the leg entanglement here. Gotta be careful that he doesn't expose his back. Grippo possibly going for a dash choke here. Look at this, reaching over the top. I like the aggression from Gianni, putting a lot of pressure. He's definitely thinking about that Dars. Cobra shifts his position to avoid that, but under pressure, under constant threat from Ripper at the moment. See some some solid pressure there. Look at that now into this smash pass position. He's got the the beginnings of what looks like a head and arm choke here. Gianni Grippo's got the strong cross face and underhook. His leg is still trapped, but that's not gonna be a total barrier for, for him in this position. He doesn't score any passing points from here, but he can start initiating the arm triangle pass. If he can get his leg free, Chase, then he can either finish or he can go to the back. There's a, a lot of options here. Mount. Yeah, he's doing a, he's in a great spot. And again, Cobra is in there a terrible is. spot. And he gets the finish. Arm triangle submission for Gianni Grippo. Two and a half minutes remaining. That was a beautiful display of top pressure there and a very calculated counter to a, basically somebody who is insisting on tacking for leg locks. Nice finish there for Gianni Grippo who moves through into the semi-final of the lightweight division. Let's take a little look at the bracket, shall we? And we'll see exactly where things are. So I believe that um, Grippo will face off with Fabio Caloy, an Alliance teammate. We'll see if they actually do compete against each other. I know they know each other well.